can tell a lot about a person by the voice that they use. Just by hearing someone without having seen them physically, we can generally tell their gender, their age, how they're feeling emotionally, and even how they are health-wise. Our voices are super important. I'm Alison from Newcastle Speech Pathology, and in this video, I have got five tips of things to look out for and to do to make sure that we take care of our voice as we age. And stay tuned to the end because I'm gonna share some information about an amazing therapy that might be just what you or someone you know needs. We all know that our body goes through changes as we age. And whether we like it or not, our muscles are changing and they tend to not be quite as strong or coordinated as they were before. It's a natural part of aging, but what we don't often think about is how that might affect our voice. Our voice is controlled by muscles. So we need to do the most that we can to keep ourselves well tuned and keep that voice really clear. So here are a few tips. Number one, vocal care. Can't stress this enough. Make sure you stay hydrated. It's going to hydrate your vocal cords and keep those mucous membranes nice and plump for that really clear voice that we love. Watch out for airborne irritants. So that's smoke, dust, particles, things that might actually dry you out. So take some extra precautions and have a bit of extra water. Consider the environment that you're in when you're having conversations. So we wanna try and avoid really noisy background environments and take our conversations to places where we can hear each other more easily and we're not having to push and strain our voice and our muscles to make ourselves heard. Make sure you speak slowly and clearly. This is a fantastic way of ensuring that other people are really going to understand what you say. And particularly as we age and our voice seems to be becoming a little bit weaker, the clearer we speak, the easier it is for others to understand us. Our voice is controlled by muscles. So it's important that we actually do some vocal exercises to keep our muscles active and keep our voice strong and clear. A speech pathologist can give you some exercises specifically for your voice and where you're at in your stage of life. Now, if you or someone you know is really struggling with your voice, if you feel as though it's starting to decline, your speech is dropping off, perhaps you've got a diagnosis of something uh, like Parkinson's disease or another neurological degenerative disease, then voice therapy is absolutely crucial for you. We have a type of voice for therapy called LSVT, which stands for the Lee Silverman Voice Treatment Program. It was initially designed for clients with Parkinson's disease, but since then, research has shown that it's equally applicable and effective to, with clients with a whole range of neurodegenerative disorders, as well as things like potentially post-stroke, Down syndrome, and cerebral palsy. It's a really intensive treatment program designed to help clients develop their loud, the volume of the voice, increase their loudness, increase their ability to calibrate the sound of their voice, to ex use more expression, and also to speak clearly. It's an intensive program, but research shows that it is absolutely worth it. If you or someone you know has one of these diagnoses, or would like to find out more about LSVT and potentially how it can help you, then please check out the link below for our blogs and please give us a call and we would love to chat to you about it.